Okay, good morning, everybody. Today, we're gonna to be learning about the collision prevention formula. And what we're also gonna be learning is about the state laws that are gonna be listed in your book. Those state laws are listed on, on page nine. They're listed on page nine, we're gonna go over this. But first, um, so here you go, collision prevention formula. Are you a? Ask yourself this question. Are you a? Recognize the hazard. So when you're driving, you see a potential hazard, you recognize it. Okay. Understand the defense. So when we say understand the defense, what are you going to do? So for example, if a deer pops out in front of you, what are you going to do? You recognize the hazard, understand the defense. What are you going to do if that deer pops out in front of you? What are you not going to do? Okay, so understanding your defense is not just what you're going to do, but what you're not going to do. In that case of a deer, we talk about you don't swerve. Act correctly and in time. So slam your brakes, for example, slam your brakes and uh, just maintain control of your vehicle. Okay, so again, that's the collision prevention format. Recognize the hazard, understand the defense, act correctly and in time. That could also pertain to, uh, that could also pertain to approaching a set of switchbacks or S curves as we've talked about. That's a hazard, recognize the hazard. Understand the defense, slow down. Act correctly in the time, slow down before you hit the switchbacks. Okay. You will need to know this RUA, it's the Collision Prevention Formula. Okay, moving on. So, am I aware, know your state laws. So here we go. Insurance, insurance. What are your requirements for your state? Well. Insurance, you must have it. You must have auto insurance in the state of Pennsylvania. Okay. Now it doesn't, um, you know, on your insurance card, it's just a vehicle needs to be insured. Okay. So if you borrow somebody's vehicle, that, that vehicle must be insured. Okay. Along with you, it helps out as well. But it's insurance for the vehicle. Now, what could potentially happen if you don't have insurance is three month, I'm gonna put LCS for license plate okay so that's three month license plate suspension okay that gets sent to PennDOT Okay, um, Officer Mangle, he himself has already taken a license plate off, off a vehicle and sent it to PennDOT. And if this happens when you're on the road, you will get towed. No, I did not intentionally make that rhyme. Okay, you will get towed. Okay, and what that could mean is that's more money out of your pocket. Okay, and then you must repay your... Registration fee. You must repay your registration fee. Okay, so uh, again, it doesn't pay to not have insurance. Okay, you must have your auto insurance. These here are the potential penalties. Okay, there's potential penalties. Okay, moving on. So that's, again, we're on page nine in the book. So we just talked about insurance. We'll go back to seatbelts. You've heard it before. You've heard us talk about seatbelts before. Under 18, it's a primary violation. Primary violation, okay? That's what the police officer needs to pull you over if you're under 18. It is a $75 fine per person. So if you have your seatbelt on, but you have four passengers under the age of 18 who do not have their seatbelts on, well, 75 times four, last I checked, is 300. 
okay? Now again, that pertains to passengers under the age of 18. So if you have a couple passengers in your vehicle that are 18 or over, that don't have their seatbelts on, okay, uh, then, then it's no primary violation, okay? But if a couple other passengers are in the vehicle without a seatbelt on, and again, $75 per person, okay? Under 18, no matter where you're at in the vehicle, you must wear your seatbelt. We're gonna talk about seatbelts here more in the, in the live of 25. But again, primary violation, $75 hit per person, okay? Those are your seatbelt laws. Again, no matter where you're at in the vehicle, under the age of 18, you must wear seatbelts, okay? Registration. Okay, so in your glove box, every vehicle, you have your, you, you're gonna have your registration. You're going to have proof of insurance. Oops. Proof of insurance. Now, if a police officer catches you with your registration that is lapsed, some will give you the opportunity to get caught up on it. If not, <clears throat> then it becomes double. Okay, so I just, for example, um, so I'll put up here double the fee. Okay, so for example, I just renewed the registration for my Corolla. I think it was $42. Well, if we get caught driving without our, our vehicle registered, then that becomes a double registration that I have to pay, okay? So I just cost myself money, okay? It makes no sense to let it lapse and then get caught. So again, you face a double, the potential of a double fee, okay? Um, if you get caught driving without your vehicle being registered. Again, that's your license plate, okay? It's essentially your license plate. So gotta have that registration card, in the vehicle at all times. Also, in order to get your vehicle inspected, in order to get your vehicle inspected, you must have proof of insurance and a current registration card. Okay. Zero tolerance. What is your state laws regarding zero tolerance in Pennsylvania? Under 21, you can't consume, possess, transport alcohol under the age of 21. Okay, we already went over this in the first chapter now, but you can't, you can't consume, possess, transport alcohol under the age of 21. Now, here's another big thing that people seem to have a misconception about. It is separate Man, I'm having trouble writing today from a DUI. Okay, zero tolerance is not a DUI. Okay, it's not a DUI. So again, I gave the example in the first chapter. Okay, so if you're at a college party, you get busted. Okay, well, here you go. Here are these guys right here. Okay, that's, you know, there you are in violation of zero tolerance. It's not a DUI, separate charge, just completely separate, okay? DUI is the, the act of driving under the influence, so we'll talk about that later, okay? But again, big thing to know, a zero tolerance is not a DUI. People always, always seem to misconstrue that, okay? So we already learned about the zero tolerance. You can't, under 21, you can't consume, possess, or transport alcohol under the age of 21. 21 means 21. Simple as that. Okay. It is a criminal offense, by the way. Uh, let's 
let's see. I'm going to save the move over law for Officer Mangle. Okay. Graduated driver's license. We talked about this in chapter one, but we'll go over it again. So you must have your license for one year. Okay, so have your license for one year. Cause no crashes. So two is cause no crashes. Number three. No violations. Of the PA vehicle code. Again, that could be speeding, running a stop sign, running a red light, okay? Those are examples of, of violations of the PA vehicle code, okay? Number four, driver's ed class. You have to have, uh, take a driver's ed class, this counts, okay? And number five, actually, I'm gonna put the shortness up P, G, consent. That's parent, guardian, consent. In order for you to get your graduated driver's license. <clears throat> so basically, this allows you to have some of the rights and abilities as somebody that is over 18. Okay. But now having said that, curfew still, the curfew law still applies. All right. So don't think it gets you out of that. Okay. But again, and in my seven years of teaching driver's ed, I've had three students who I've signed off of the paperwork for. I just had a fourth ask me last week. Okay, so not too many people get it, all right? But again, these are all, these are all the requirements you need to meet in order to get your graduated driver's license. Okay, last thing we're gonna talk about in this video and for page nine, because Officer Mangle is going to take care of the move over law. We'll go here to tiebreaker. Okay. Pennsylvania. Here's our cell phone laws. Okay. It's going to be at the bottom of there on page nine. Pennsylvania is not a hands-free state. So in Pennsylvania, driving while doing this is legal. Driving while doing this that's where it gets, that's where it gets dicey, okay? You can't, it's no text-based communication. So, no text-based, I'll just put com, no text-based communication. So that includes sending a text message, sending a Snapchat, Instagram, whatever, as long as uh, if it's, text-based communication. I mean, heck, even if I uh, ordered Papa John's from my phone while I'm driving, well, technically that is text-based communication. Now, when we talk about this, though, when we talk about this, well, what if I'm looking up the number to Papa John's? Okay, what if I'm looking up a number? What if I'm looking up a phone number so that I can make the call? Well, I'm not, it's not text-based communication, so I can look up a phone number. I can look up the number for Papa John's but I can't order my Papa John's from my app while I am driving. I can't send my wife a text. Hey, honey, I just ordered pizza for dinner. Can't do that, but I can certainly look up, uh, look up the number. I can call Papa John's and then I can hang up, look up my wife's phone number and then call her again and say, hey, honey, I ordered Papa John's, okay? The self and laws of Pennsylvania are really, really, they're kind of goofy, all right? Maryland and New Jersey, they are text-based I mean, they're not text-based communication. It's all cell phones. You can't have cell phone in your hand whatsoever when you are driving. They are hands-free states. Pennsylvania is not. Okay, so that covers our lesson for today. Uh, RUA, recognize a hazard, understand the defense, act correctly and in time. And then six of the seven laws, six of the seven laws we have here in the book on page nine, okay? Officer Mangle will be going over the move over law with you guys in class on Wednesday during our 20-minute uh, class period. 
Okay, if you guys have any questions, please shoot me an email. Have a good day, everybody.